the defense did a, did a good job today. We know we should have minimized those penalties and got to be more disciplined uh, for the next coming weeks. But we brought the energy today, and it was a team game. We worked with the offense, picked it up when the offense needed us, and the offense picked it up when they when we needed them. Uh, it was a good team win, and we're ready to. Wasn't the first half we wanted. We know I'm excited to go back this next week and fix and tune up everything, uh, get ready for our next opponent. I feel great, uh, but I feel more good about uh, how my teammates and responded and my coaches responded to the first half. The first half was rough, uh, you know, and I'm just thankful that I got, I was apologizing to the defense because it wasn't the first start that we wanted to. And they was like, nah, that's on me. We sh they shouldn't have scored. They shouldn't have did this. And I'm just like, you know, th I'm just thankful. You know, my coach continued to put me in the game, believed in me, and we, b we was able to break through. Uh, we just got in the groove of things and we tightened things up. Uh, it, it was our first time everybody playing with each other. Me, the quarterback, the old line, the wide receiver, it was everybody's first time playing with each other. So, and it was the first game. So everybody, you know, was a little bit tingling and worried, but we found each ourselves. You're both team captains. What was said in the locker room to have to help y'all lock in and you know, have the performance, you know, 42 points and then the, two um, the biggest thing on the defensive side of the ball was don't panic. You know, the, the last thing you want to do is panic. We've got to stay to our stay to our rules, stay to what we've been doing, and just uh, work as a team, fix the things up, and just just keep fighting. Come out with come out the energy, and just don't panic. Just stay stay calm and trust the defense and trust our team, trust our offense, and it worked out. Ron, you uh, obviously had uh, you know, you transferred back to San Diego State, and. Uh, it was awesome. That was my first college touchdown, but I wouldn't have been able to do it without my teammates. Um, Trey White punching the ball out, Cody Moon being there, and then I just happened to be at the right place at the right time. Yeah, for sure. I definitely felt the tension loosening and everybody just starting to feel more comfortable and more confident. Can you tell me, that ball's bouncing around in front of you. It's, you talk about just getting how panicky, but how difficult, difficult is it to just, take, just fall on the ball, not to pick it up, run, kick it around. You see that happen the so often. That's the drill we work on a lot, city ball versus country ball. And when at that point it was a country ball, you know, you want to scoop and score, not just fall on it. And the ball just kept getting kicked further and further into the end zone. And then once I knew the ball was in the end zone, I knew to just fall on it, get possession of the ball. Uh, Trey White was the first one to, to knock it out after the quarter I picked it up. And then Cody Moon was also next to me. And then were you impressed with Cody getting touchdown? Nah, he kind of missed it a little bit, but I was there to pick it up. Tom, the defense played a lot of different variations. Uh, I think they started in a 3 4. As an inside linebacker, how, how did those different schemes kind of change your role? Mm -hmm. um, we just kind of going based off, you know, their personnel, and our coaches did a good job of preparing us and just knowing our rules. And it doesn't, doesn't change too much. We, we did a lot of preparation, and we just know to stay true to our rules and what our coaches taught us. Marquez, you played in this offense with Kent State a few years back. How does this version of it move in comparison to what it was like in Kent State? Is there a difference? <laughs> I mean, it's a lot of different pieces, so it definitely looks different. Uh, it feels per a lot of the same, though, you know, and uh, especially when I was able to get into a rhythm, uh, this was everything that I remember, so, and, more, and it's going to be more ahead, you know. I was just getting my feet wet tonight. We all was just getting our feet wet tonight. It's a long season ahead. 223 yards, the second most of the Aztec debut behind Marshall Fox. So already your first game, already being Marshall Fox, how does that feel to you? Uh, it feels amazing. Uh, just being at San Diego State every day feels amazing with guys that, you know, were able to set the tone before me and guys to chase uh, their greatness behind them. So with Marshall Falk, uh, Rashad Penny, uh, Donnell Pumphrey, and guys like that, you know, I chase them guys every single day. Marcus, uh, freshman quarterback, what game looked like you might have been a little bit hyped up early, just the ball in the second row of the stands. 
talk me through his progression and what you saw from him as he kind of got, not just from the decision making of Troy, but the way that he handled himself emotionally throughout the game. Uh, Danny never changed emotionally. Uh, after some passes, you know, I got on him a little bit, like, come on, give him a chance. But he, he never talks back or anything like that. He takes it, moves on to the next play, and he was able to uh, convert some key third downs and uh, converge first downs for us passing the ball through the air. So I really like the day he had today and what he's shown. What did you like in the huddle? Did you go early on, like, hey, that was on me. We're a tempo team. We don't huddle that much. <laughs> so when we were in the huddle, all he was doing, to, all he was doing though, was calling a play and saying, "Let's go," and motivating the O line up front. That's all he was doing in the huddles. Oh, uh, between plays, uh, me and him are both looking um, to get the play. So uh, we we're not just talking. All he does is say motivational things. That's all he does. Is let's go and stuff like that, so. How did the staff handle you guys at halftime, not playing where you guys wanted to play? I mean, how did they approach you guys? What was their message? They never panicked at all. Like they came in the locker room and all they did was go to their positions like we would do in any other game. And the position coaches coached their positions, told them what they was doing right, what they was doing wrong, and we got it right. Yes. After a game like tonight, how do you keep expectations for yourself set and have a good mentality for the rest of the season? Uh, I feel like I'm one of the best backs in the nation, if not the best back. So, and I don't feel like a lot of people view me as that or look at me as that way. A lot of people count me out because of my size and I've been dealing with that for my whole life. So I'm just trying to continue to be the greatest man I can be every single day, every single practice. And I'm thankful for this opportunity every single day. Uh, you know, I'm, I take a, a sacrifice to be away from my son every single day, and he's going to be able to come next week. So I'm excited for that. Uh, they, they, they seem to really want to attack the defense. How do you feel like you guys as a defense you know, held up against the physicality that they were trying to establish? Uh, they definitely brought it today, and they started off in the ball in a, in a bigger personnel and wanted to, like you said, run the ball up the middle. And we just made those adjustments. and. And then that, that made them get away from it. And I think that our D-line did a good job. Our coaches made the right adjustments at half. Like he said, they're staying calm. The coaches didn't come in yelling at anybody. They just went to their positions and made the right adjustments. And we came together as a team. So you play against an offense that goes so fast in practice today. Yeah. Today, you know, Thomas kind of slowed games down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Did you feel maybe stronger as the game went on? Because you're so you're your win and you're your cardio basketball Oh, for sure. Yeah, we do it. We do it. Or going against them at practice, they go really fast, and it's good to practice against that because the game can only get easier in, in a sense. So uh, our our offense does a good job of preparing us, and and the game today we have more time to think, more time to catch your breath, and it was it was cool to feel that. Question for the ball: What can you kind of take away from this game and then look to kind of build on with uh, the game coming up? I feel like today was a good start, like you said, getting our, our feet in the water, but it's nowhere close to where we want to be, and it's. No, we're satisfied. We're not hungry. We're starving to get out there. And I can't wait to go back to practice and fi fix the things up tomorrow. So I think today was a big, a big day for us to just get out there and see what we're doing. But we got a lot of stuff to fix. I think today was a wake up call. You know, uh, I don't think we came sleeping on them, but it felt like it. So we need to uh, work harder and practice every single day. And we need to get on that film room tomorrow and see what we need to fix. Could you both please comment about the job that your respective front lines of the offense and defense did during this game? My old line did amazingly, especially in the second half. Uh, they showed perseverance um, by, you know, they didn't get doubt themselves or anything like that because of the rough first half. You know, they wanted to. You know, they was motivating me in the, at halftime to come on, you, 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 you the one, you a dog. Uh, let's run the rock. We need to just run the rock on these boys. So they want to run the rock just as bad as I do every single play, and that's what I love about them. They left a pretty big space where you can get through on the long touchdown run. I I was untouched on my touchdown run, untouched. That doesn't happen often in, <laughs> in college football or NFL. Uh. My, my D-line did a great job, and 
they, they instill confidence in me knowing that, you know, a, a really good D-line, they do their job, it makes my job 100 times easier. And they, they did a great job today and made my reads easier and made everything clear for me to fit. So uh, any recognition goes to them. So I think it was three roughing the passer penalties. Did you guys get an explanation from any of those? Look at Sitcom and maybe borderline calls? No. Um, with those calls, we just need to be more disciplined. There should be no gray area. We shouldn't be putting our, ourselves in a position to get those penalties, so we got to be more disciplined on those.